Taking a look now at some financial news, you may have heard the news reports that fast food chain Wendy's is looking to test having the prices of menu items fluctuate throughout the day based on demand. Well, it looks like that that won't be happening after all. On Wednesday, February the 28th, Wendy's says that it has no plans to raise menu prices at times of peak demand. Reuters reports the burger chain was scorched on social media sites for comments that its CEO made earlier in the month, suggesting the chain may start testing dynamic pricing. CEO Kirk Tanner told investors on a conference call that starting as early as 2025, Wendy's would begin testing features including dynamic pricing and day part offerings. Dynamic pricing refers to surge pricing based on demand, especially during peak hours of the day. Tanner's comments sparked an online backlash with some vowing to stack their freezer with the company's signature frosty milkshakes to hoard for the summer months. Even U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren weighed in on the news, posting on the social media platform X that it was price gouging. Warren's post said that Wendy's plan means that you pay more for your lunch, even though it costs Wendy's. The cost to them stays exactly the same. She called it price gouging, plain and simple, and said American families have had enough. Wendy's backtracked, saying in a statement to Reuters on Wednesday, the 28th, that it would not raise prices for customers visiting them most. The company says its initiative to add digital menu boards to certain stores would allow the chain to offer discounts to customers more readily, particularly in the slower times of the day. Wendy's also claimed the menu boards would provide more flexibility to change the display of featured items. The chain said the comments were mis construed in media reports to raise prices during periods of high demands, and they have no plans of doing it.